Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, uh, Part 42. I don't know how we did this in the last episode, but we forgot to get Pantamona Junction and have a look at it, so we might as well do that now. Let's chuck it on Quistus, or Selfie right now, I guess, but... What have we got? Um, automatic? No. Yeah, let's check out the magic a sec, see if it's anything new. We can now do Junction to her elemental attack if we want to, but never mind. Let's get boost going on Pandemona, or Pandemonia, or Pandemona, mm. I don't know, <laughs> whatever. We're going to check it on boost. Initiative will be good for a certain Jeff later on, a secret Jeff kind of thing. Oh, we got loads, didn't we? We learnt loads. Card mod is still going. That'll be handy at some point. And that'll defence times two, I think, will be the best of what's left there. That's been learnt now. Siren, um, move find to see the hidden draw points and stuff if we ever need to. Tality, oh, missed one. Okay, Leviathan. More spirit, I think. Right, so let's head in to Trebia Garden, which is where we're going to be for the rest of this episode, I think. There is a magazine here. If we can find the cemetery, I think it's there somewhere. A cemetery in a garden, I know. <laughs> it might not even be a cemetery. It might just look like one to me because it's all been wrecked and stuff. But we'll find out now. A direct hit. Yep, the missiles hit ages ago when Adia sent the missiles off from the base. This is terrible. I do like how the field music is still playing by you because we're not quite in the garden. It's a nice little effect. Be careful. Okay, from now on, even if we haven't got selfie, we can climb in this way with whoever. Without having to be shown by selfie, you know, how to get in. Anyways, be on the lookout for a magazine. It's a weapons monthly, so it's important. Why isn't selfie here? Aren't we missing someone? Wait, I think I gave um the wrong person the junction. Yeah, I did. I have to switch that over now. Let's go after her. Okay. Let's switch the junctions over, like I said. Take it off of selfie. Pandemona, where are you? There you are. And put it on to... Christus, is it? Is it Christus? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So she's got a couple of new things. Stats defense times two now. We must have learned that from somewhere. <clears throat> we might swap a berserk on. It doesn't really matter. I mean, cup of fire on. It looks. Like it could be a good one. Well, for now, just fire. I'll do. Okay, let's get going. It, I think it would have been a nice garden, you know, before it was destroyed. It's the impression I've always gotten, anyway. It's a magazine. On the floor, right on the floor by the, the yellow. August issue, let's have a look at it. And that's all the optional stuff we really want to find here. You can, you might be able to find a, um, what are they called? Timber Maniacs, you might be able to. Better Sword for Squall, what's it called? The Punishment, okay. Something better for Zell, Renoa, and Quistis. Save the Queen. That's the best whip for Quistus already. I'm not sure if that's the best 
weapon for Renoa. No, I don't think it is. But that is the best glove for Zell. So we got two of the ultimate weapons we can make if we get the materials now. Whenever that happens. <clears throat> Thandaga. Oh, wow. That's a good find. 13 Thandagas. Nice. So, you've been looking after Selfie? Yeah, of course. She's been a great help. Ah. <laughs> What's wrong? That's not like squalid or... Whatever. So anything you want us to do? Should be a basketball court in the back. Wait for me there, okay? Okay. I think it's any this way? I know she said in the back, but yeah, I think it's this way. Oh, uh, those sort of homeless. Blaz, <laughs> a bit drunk, are we? I'm just sick. I'm exhausted from tending to everyone. Okay, you can do a bit more around there and access the terminals that we've got back at Balam Garden as well. If you really want to. I really wish there were arrows to show where you could go off to different places. She's a bit confusing otherwise. A gun? Oh. Found a draw point hidden, obviously. Don't draw. Don't need more zombie. I know the stage got destroyed, but I performed. My dream band. I was able to carry out my dream. You remember how we promised? Do we do something memorable for ourselves? She's talking to a dead friend, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if that's obvious or not. Right, remember? My performance. Our performance we were supposed to do. You all saw me, right? You heard me? Ah, oh, I'll keep playing for however long it takes for you to hear. Our dream. It's much bigger and better than before. Okay, I think that's... I think that's all we want to hear. You don't need to hear any of it, but, you know. So it was the other way, but at least we got to see a, a bit of a sad monologue from Selfie. I don't know if you count it as a monologue, would you? Because even though that person's not there anymore, you still like to believe that there's someone listening. So maybe it's not a monologue at all. We're just talking about who would have won the Trivia Basketball Tournament if we had played. It's all because of that stupid missile. Those stupid missiles. They all just tend into the ruins and everything. It's quite sad. Okay, here we go. The basketball court. Time for a bit of a talky part now. A bit of backstory and a bit of a twist, actually. We'll leave in as soon as Selfie comes back. On standby till then. It's only fair that she gets to have a bit of time to herself. I'm sure everyone else has. Doesn't seem like the enemy has invaded this garden yet. Are they on their way? Where's the sorceress? We have to find her, and we do indeed. That's our whole point of this disc right now is to find a deer. I've got to do something to show that Selfie can depend on me. Why the search for alone? Alone, inviting Squall back to the past, whereas the sorceress searches for it. Could it be the sorceress is trying to make that journey into the past too? She could be. Why did the sorceress come into the picture all of a sudden? Was she actually waiting for this opportunity? I wonder if she was living a normal life before all of this. You know, ever since I met all of you, I've been doing some thinking. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't come up with an answer either. <laughs> Try and leave and... Random basketball. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks so much for coming all the way out here, everyone. Cheer up, eh? <laughs> yeah, just cheer up. <laughs> Thanks. Take me with you when you fight the sorceress, okay? I want to get even. I want my revenge. Um... Do we have to fight? Isn't there another way? You know, to avoid any bloodshed? 
Yo, what the? What are you saying all of a sudden? Maybe someone really smart can come up with a way so we wouldn't have to fight anymore. What are you getting at? If someone could come up with something, that'd be great. But no one's doing anything. They're all scared, uneasy. All they do is complain. They just pretend to be thinking. Do you really think, um, Sasha Sadia would listen to reason in any way? Yeah, they criticise others, but in the end, they can't do anything either. Renoa, why all this all of a sudden? What do you expect from me? I grew up in garden. I'm a seed. Do you understand? We're made for fighting. <laughs> Squall, you have to voice your feelings, or else I won't understand. You were part of a resistance movement in Timber, right? And like others who all talk, you took to your weapons and fought. And now he's saying all this, what happened to you? I guess, I'm getting scared. Sometimes, when I'm with all of you, I feel like we're on the same wavelength, you know? But when the battles start happening, it's different. Everyone's tempo seems to pick up and I get left behind. I try to catch up, but it's no use. How far is everyone going? I can't hear anyone. Once I catch up, I wonder, is everyone safe? Will they welcome me with open arms? Is everyone okay? Will we all make it back together? When I start thinking like that, we know I understand. Someone might not be there. Someone you love may disappear before your very eyes. It's tough when you live your life thinking that way. But that's why I fight. When I was a little kid, I was about four or so. I was in an orphanage. Plenty of kids, all with no parents. It was on the end of the Sorceress War, so I guess it couldn't be helped. Anyway, that's where I was. And out of all the kids there, one was very special to me. This is a really important scene, by the way. You might not think so yet. Irvi, wanna play? I really liked this girl, and it made me so happy just talking to her. Sefi, what you playing? War! <laughs> Sefi, eh? Is that orphanage a stone house? You guessed it. An old house made of stone by the ocean? You guessed it. I knew right away when we first met. Why didn't you tell us? So those three were in the orphanage together. Back when they were little. Because you two seem to have forgotten. It just kind of sucked that I was the only one who remembered. Spunky little Sefi and bossy little Christy. <laughs> they haven't changed one bit. That's just so weird. Huh? Who's this? Zell! <laughs> hey, do you guys remember setting off fireworks? That was... This way. Okay, so here comes Squall. Whee! <laughs> it's nothing to find here or anything like that. Just go straight for where they went to see where they sent off, set off the fireworks back in the past. And Squall. We've seen him in a couple of cutscenes with a st sort of stone wall background, so it makes sense that he was here as well. Sis, where'd you go? You don't like me anymore? What a shameful sight. Anyway, <laughs> bit random that, I always thought. I suppose it shows that Squall um, is the same here as um, in those little memory things that Squall was having when he was in bed. Come on then, let's carry on. How about this? Yeah! The ocean, the lighthouse. We did set off fireworks.
You. Yo. <laughs> Whichever. There's a fifth person as well, apart from Squall. Kids aren't supposed to play with fireworks. I'm telling. I'm gonna tell on you. <laughs> Cry baby Zell. Go back to bed. If I remember this, does that mean I was there too? We all got in big trouble. Then, what about my parents in Balam? Uh, he's just figuring out that Zell, Zell's parents and actually... You know, his natural parents. Yep, that's probably it. I was here. <laughs> Come on, stop it. Matwin, help. And who's this? Crybaby Zell. Not calling him Chicken Wuss, but... <laughs> who's that? Stop teasing me, Sifa. There we go. Sifa was there too. So they were all connected from the be very beginning, back in the orphanage, look. Wow, he was there too. It's a massive coincidence. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure if it gets explained or not. I can't really remember, but we'll find out as we go along. Should we see where Irvine's going? Sifu was there too. Except for Renoa, we were all there. Hey, that means... Yeah, Renoa wasn't in the garden, was she? Or in any garden, so... She wouldn't have been taken in by anyone. Yeah, I was there too. Renoa's the... What's the word? The one that's left out. Oh, whatever. I... Sis... I was always waiting for Sis to come back. I'm all alone. But I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, Sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. I didn't turn out okay at all. Sis L. Sis L. <laughs> alone? So, alone with Sis? She was a bit older than us, and we all used to call her Sis. So that mysterious woman from the start of the game, and the one we gave over to the White Seed Ship, is alone, and that is Sis from the orphanage. Christus, Zell, Selfie, Irvine, Sifa, alone, and myself. Yeah, I'm not sure what the meaning behind all this is, but we were definitely together. You mean Sis is alone? Yes, yes, yes. We just figured that out. She's the one that takes us back to Laguna's period. She said she wanted to change the past. I don't know why. There can only be one reason for that. She must not be happy with the present. If that's the case, I'm definitely up for helping her. She's part of our orphanage gang. You didn't even remember who she was. <laughs> that's true. Hey, Selfie. That goes for you, too. Oh, we can move. So Sis was alone, yes, 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 yes. Squall, you kept hogging her for yourself. You should have a good memory. This is really strange. I don't think I was adopted because of the way I am. Probably the same with Sifa too. You two must have been at Garden by the age of five or so. Even so, he's never mentioned anything about growing up in an orphanage. And nothing about this has ever crossed my mind when I see him either. Don't you find that odd? That is strange. In my case, I had loads and loads of fun after going to Trabia. That's probably why I forgot all about my childhood. That's what I think. But I don't know what's up with you guys. It's so hard that you would forget. I remember. Yes, I remember now. Things didn't work out too well at my new home, so I came to Garden at the age of 10. That was when I first noticed Sifa and Squall. Sifa and Squall were always fighting. Yeah, Custis always used to break us up. Same as now, really. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Or when we were in the garden, anyway. Sifu was a kid who always needed to be the centre of attention, but Squall always used to ignore him. But eventually, they would end up fighting. Squall could have easily walked away from it, but always took up the challenge. He should have just ignored him, but Squall, almost in tears, would say, I gotta do my best by myself, or else I won't be able to see Sis. I guess I was trying to take Sis, I mean, alone's place. 
I tried, but to no avail. That's probably it. Even after becoming an instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about Squall. I thought it was love. I had to hide my feelings because I was an instructor, but I've come to realise it wasn't. It was my childhood feelings as a big sister that lingered. Oh well. A misunderstood love? Actually, I had completely given up when Renoa came into the picture. Hey. It must be the same for Sifa. I'm sure Sifa has forgotten his childhood too, but whenever he sees Squall, his inner feelings start to boil, and... Is that why he's always picking fights with Squall? Or is it that we forgot? We grew up together as kids. How is that possible? How about this? The price we pay for using the GF. The GF provides us provides us its power, but the GF makes its own place inside our brain. So you're saying that the area is where our memories are stored? No, it's just a rumour the GF critics are spreading. So if we keep relying on the GF, we won't be able to remember a lot of things. And this is a big part too. There's no way Headmaster Sid will allow such a dangerous thing. Then how is it that I remember while everyone else has forgotten? Well, in my case, I hadn't junctioned the GF until recently, so he's had less to forget. That's time to forget. That's why I remember a lot more than you guys. How about you, Selfie? Your first experience with your GF was when you came to Balam Garden, right? Yeah. Oop. Sorry, better talk to Selfie now. Her turn. I have a confession to make. Why is it that she can't remember either? We're going to find out now. When I was 12, I went on an outdoor training session. I found a GF inside one of the monsters I defeated. I junctioned that GF for a while, so I have experience with GF too. But it's really weird, I can't remember the name of that GF. Must be the GF's fault. What should we do? What should we do? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? So what do you want to do? You want to stop using GF now? As long as we continue fighting, we're indebted to the powers of the GF. If there's a price I have to pay for that, I'll gl gladly pay it. Hey, I know. Let's all keep a diary. That way we'll always have something to remind us. You sure that's what you want? So they're all going to carry on using GFs because it's so good for fighting. And it'll help them sort of, not save the world, it's not quite that big yet, is it? But, um, but to stop the sorceress at least. They adopted me. There's no I'm letting go of that power. Hey. Do you all remember Matron? She was always wearing black. Let's see. Matron, dressed in black. She's the... There we go, another character. Introduced from the orphanage. Very kind. Long black hair. Yes, I really admired her. Wait, I just pictured her face and... I see a resemblance. Matron, they look alike. That's not it. Matron's name is Adia Kramer. Matron's... Matron is Sorceress Adia. I love how they've done this music too. Sort of slowing it right down and made it a lot different, you know. Why? You wondering why Matron would take over a country or fire missiles and whatnot? At this point, we probably wouldn't comprehend it, even if we talked about it. They're probably right. Why was Matron so kind back there and now? So evil. That's something we'll have to find out. Seed and garden wall, Matron's idea, right? I'm not a seed, but I share the same feeling with all of you. Seeds are supposed to fight the sorceress, right? This is strange. That's right. It was when I was being tortured by Sifa. He wanted to know what seed was. Matron should know. But Matron is sorceress idea. There's no denying that. What's this all mean? Squall, you listening? So, like, this is what I wanted to say. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I understand what Renault is saying. I understand, but still, I'm gonna fight. I want to stay true to everything I've stood for. I'm sure it's the same for everyone. That's why I thought it'd be best if everyone knew we would have to face Matron. You've all heard this before. 
How life has infinite possibilities. I don't believe that one bit. There weren't many paths for me to choose. Sometimes there would only be one. From the limited possibilities I faced, the choices I made have brought me this far. That's why I value the path I chose. I want to hold true to the path that had to be taken. I know our opponent is Matron, whom we all love very much. We might lose something very important on account of the GF, but I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here on the tides of fate. I'm here because I chose to be here. Very true. And more importantly, we all grew up together. But due to various cir circumstances, we all got separated. As a kid, you couldn't really go, on, go out on your own. There were no other paths to take. All I did was just cry. Yeah, as a child, you just have to go along with everything, don't you? With your parents or guardians or whoever. But then as you get older, you get the choices and stuff and can do whatever you like. Um, for the most part. But somehow we're together again. Just like old times, though lots changed. We're not kids anymore. We're strong enough to take care of ourselves. We make our own decisions. We're confronting a big one right now. Do we fight Matron? Or not? I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal. At least it'll keep us together a little longer. Let's do it. We can't run from here for the rest of our lives. Okay, we should be close to the end of all the talking now. It's just such a bummer. I can't believe we have to fight Matron. I know, but Zaz's right. We can't run from her forever. It's up to you. We're going to fight. I think it's the only way we can move on with our lives. If that makes any sense at all, come with us. I'm sure that's what everybody wants. Yeah, I think... Have we persuaded Renoa to come fight? Or is she still against it and wants to talk her way through? She never worked out back at the Sorceress assassination or anything. Look, look. Ah, snow in. Get from the theories. <laughs> you know, I don't really like... I like snow. I like snow for about a day. Somebody said this to me the other day. I like snow for about a day and then I get sick of it. <laughs> That's completely true. Except when you're driving, it's just impossible. Clue? You mean as to why Matron turned out like this? Yep. Something had happened in the past. But the past is the past. It's over. Done with. Despite what truth we find, it's not going to change the present. But... I want to see too. Okay, so our next objective is to find the orphanage that we've been sort of in the memory of. Adia's house, another name for the orphanage. So, this episode has gone on a bit long because of the whole story thing. I guess I could have paused it at some point and cut it up, but... You know, at least it's all done in one episode, isn't it? Guess that's it. We're fighting. You guys are fearless. Fearless? I don't think that's quite right. If you think too hard, you become lost. I think that's what everyone's afraid of. I wish we didn't have to fight either. Yeah, Renoa understands. Okay, let's make a party again. Quistus and Renoa are coming back in. We're going to have to switch the junction in from Renoa. Uh, selfie. Yep, there we go. Where will we end up now? Back in the ship. Oh, good. But what I'm going to do... Why does it turn so much? Okay, whatever. I'm going to cut the episode here. This has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next episode when we find Adia's house or the orphanage from many years ago. See you then.